Hello everyone, Javoticus here. Today we're going to be doing a Death Knight class guide and walk through, talk through, commentary kind of thing. So, basically, how you get Death Knight is you have to have rank 10 Doomwood reputation. And what you're going to do to get it is, um, here we go, join Light Guard. Here we go. Gonna come in here. Keep going. By the way, guys, I'm actually leaving tomorrow. Uh, I have ordered Card Clasher. That is next on the list. Um, but it will be here before I come back. So, right here's where you buy Death Knight. 50,000 gold. Remember, you have to have Doomwood Reputation Rank 10. Right there. Haven't got Myth Song. That's a guilty confession yet. Um, so yeah, I'll be gone a week. There won't be any videos out for a week, but I'll try to get one out as soon as I come back. So, alright. Now you know where to get it, how much it is. Um, easy way to farm it. It's not that bad. If you do the storyline over a course of a few days and do the daily quests, maybe get a boost, uh, you'll have it pretty soon, in no time at all. There's such a long story with Doomwood that you'll constantly get reputation. It's not hard to get at all. And you also get Necromancer and Undead Slayer if you remember, so that's good too. Alright, um, let's start the guide. Alright, so, basically... The enhancements you're going to want for Death Knight is a, or what I recommend, is a Luck and Fighter combination. Simply because the passives for Rank 4, Death, Smite, and Ruthless increase your strength and your critical chance by 12% each. So, as you can see, I have Fighter and Luck. The strength is going to benefit from the Fighter enhancement, and the critical chance is going to benefit, or not benefit, but help the uh, luck enhancements along. So you'll do more damage uh, both ways. So that's nice. Also, this class does have a rank 10 passive called Final Word. Um, rarely a frozen wave explodes out of you, smiting your foe with all the finality of death itself. So that's the rank 10. Um, you have to be rank 10 to get it, and it's your usual... Um, one in a million chance of hitting massive damage. So the first skill here is Chilling Strike. Five mana, five second cooldown. Uh, the chill of death seeps into your foe. This um, this is in, this adds a damage over time that gets stronger with each stack, and it can stack up to five times. See, I've gotten up to 25 with it. Um, and the skill, the skill, death's chill that adds enhances the damage and other effects of your other skills as well. So it is very vital. It is an important move for you to use a lot. Uh, your, ugh, sorry. Uh, your next skill here, Frost Fang, costs 15 mana and an 8 second cooldown. It's a physical skill. This moderate strike causes Frostbite, a damage over time effect that slows your foe's attack speed. Enemy haste is reduced more with stacks of Death's Chill. So like I said, if you have 5 stacks of this, it will slow them down considerably more. Let's just check the damage of it. It's a nice 292 with it. As you can see, Death Knight. And it also applies that DOT. Like I said. So, I missed. Right. So, there you go. Nice 800 crit with it. Their third skill here is Death Grip. Costs 25 mana, has an 18 second cooldown. So, it's much slower than the others. Uh, it is a powerful strike that causes death grip. Your foe feels the f life slowly crushed out of them, causing damage over time and reducing their damage. Enemy damage is reduced more with stacks of death's chill, and it has a small chance to cause a stun of 6 seconds. So let's test it out. It hits pretty high. So that's a 700 non-crit. Let's pair it up with this. That's nice damage. See, it has pretty low co cooldowns, which is unfortunate makes it vulnerable in uh, 1 versus 1 PvP, but it can pack a punch. As you see, it just hit a 2k crit. So it is capable, but it has some weaknesses, which is what makes it be not OP. If this had 
much faster cooldowns, then it stands the chance of being overpowered because it can just hit that high. But it's not. Uh, rank 5 skill is Death Shroud. This is the Death Knight's healing move. Um, it costs 30 mana and 20 second cooldown. It's a magical skill. You tap into the power of death to pull your form back together. This causes you to heal over time and significantly, incre significantly increases your damage resistance. But it also slows your attack speed and reduces your damage output in crit while you are regenerating. Um, amount healed increases with stacks of death shield. So it actually has a very, very nice heal over time after death shield is stacked. I've seen it go up to around 350 per second, which is great. But without death shield, let's just check what it does. So it will heal right around. It's not healing at all. That's weird. Okay, hold on. Wait for it to cool down. Need a little bit of auto in here. Here we go. Alright, Death Shroud, let's see. It causes a 55 heal over time without any stacks. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show you what it can hit with stacks. Whew. Hope this guy doesn't kill me. I'm just going to show you really quickly what it can do. So, we're going to do the heal over time first. We're going to stack death shield to five. That's one. There's two. We're also going to see how much damage over time death shield can apply. Three. Or, as you can see, it takes a considerably large amount of time to stack it because of its low cooldown. And apply Death Shroud. 244 per second. That's not bad at all. So you get it about three or four times before it fades out. So that's the heal over time. It does pretty good. And you can see all those damage over times it has on it. I'd rather not die in my video, sorry. Um, but that's the capabilities of it. It can do pretty well. Uh, it's Like I said, it does have its vulnerabilities and weaknesses, but it's a good class. It's nicely put together. It's fun to use in some cases, but that haste does get annoying at some times. When you really need a strike and it's still cooling down, it can bug the crap out of you. So... Hello everyone, okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to try to go for the largest Death Knight heal over time ever. So we're going to go for much higher. I got a potion and a bard and a paladin slayer, so we're going to see what we can do. Here we go. That's one death chill. We're going to stack the four and we're going to tell them to give it to me. Two. Three. Almost. Oh, I'm gonna die. He's gonna get me. That's a 941. Can you believe that? 941 with a heal over time. That's ridiculous. That's what most healers heal non crit. Actually, they heal. They heal around 836, so that's ridiculous with Death Knight. Alright, so, this is what you guys think about the class. Uh, if you have it, you know how to use it now, and it, you know that it's not terrific in all the cases, but it can be a lot of fun. It's not very good for going through storyline quickly because it doesn't have the haste. Uh, it can be fun in PvP. It can be fun to just play around with, just fool around with. It has really pretty armor. Look at that. That's just the default class, and most default classes are kind of ugly. But I think this has beautiful work. Just look at that. I think it's beautiful. But um, it's a fun class to play around with. If you're fighting like a smaller boss that you can stack up Death's Chill, it can be a lot of fun to just pound on it. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun, and it's a good class. Uh, if you don't have it, if you're non-member, now you know what it can do and how much fun it is, so might think about upgrading. And tell me what you guys think of the video. Comment, I love comments. Uh, subscribe if you feel inclined to. Um, 
Follow me on Twitter, as always. It'll be in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Joe out.